India is on the cusp of making history today as the ISRO is all set to launch the second edition of the small satellite launch vehicle or SSLV D2 from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota today when the countdown for the launch is on and it is expected to take place at 9.18 a.m. today. The new rocket will attempt to put three satellites, ISRO's EOS-07 which is a U.S.-based firm Antares Janus-1 and Chennai-based space startup uh, Space Kids Azadi Sat 2 into a 450 km circular orbit during its 15 minute flight. And as per ISRO, the SSLV caters to the launch of up to 500 kilograms of satellites to low Earth orbits on a launch on demand basis. So this launch is said to be a significant one as it could help India capture a piece of the worldwide market for small satellite launchers. Remember India is marketing as far as the SSLV as a vehicle on demand that can deploy even when it comes to mini, micro and even nano satellites. Back in 2019 the market for small satellite launch services was valued at 7.8 billion dollars and by 2029 it is now anticipated to reach 24.9 billion dollars. ISRO is all set to launch SSLV D2 at precisely 9.18 a.m. today and we have Mr. Sridhmati Kesan, the founder of Space Kids. Ma'am, tell us, uh, this is the second time you are launching your satellite into the space, Azadi Sat. Tell us more about what kind of improvements you have made and how different is it this time from compared to the next uh, earlier time? Uh, well, uh, it is a great opportunity that we got to work again now. Uh, of course, uh, I can, uh, you know, I wanted to take all the dreams of the 750 children. So they are all with high expectations and that's the reason, uh, you know, we worked with the same children. They came with the same zeal and enthusiasm. They bounce back. And you should see the character that they have shaped up into. So I'm really proud of all my girls. Apart from that, being given an opportunity, we thought we have to create an innovation. So we have done an expandable satellite. So this satellite, when on Earth, is about 8U. When it goes up into space, it becomes 64U. So this creates more volume inside, uh, you know, the uh, structural part. So what happens is we can economize the whole building of satellite and sending the satellite so that is a major innovation and of course LoRa technology we have enhanced our LoRa uh, technology we have used new solar cells so everything is an experiment so we are really crossing fingers that you know we get good data and uh, desired data rather and also we were talking about uh, you know uh, expansion of this particular satellite and how it is going to expand and how efficient power efficient it's going to be and also we're sending about uh, talking about a g20 logo being sent on space and song to be sent on can you talk us uh, talk to us more about that well uh, i am very proud that uh, you know i guess every indian is very proud about the g20 presidency this year so we thought we should do something different rather than putting on the logo on the dais on a flag on a you know brooch or badge or anything we thought, I think it really needs something more. So we have sent the logo up in space and we are extremely proud about that. Well, apart from that, this year is the 75th uh, year of inception of National Cadet Corps NCC. And being the best cadet of my state, an ex-NCC cadet, I wanted to, you know, give a tribute to my fraternity through sending an NCC song. So I'm extremely happy about that. Beyond all this, uh, we have uh, actually sent another song a space song created that for the children of our country so that they get inspired by space you don't just read to get inspired you need to see some visuals so and something peppy music so we've roped in uh, Devi Shri Prasad who was very kind enough to do that when he heard the concept so he composed and he sang the song uh, Mr. Raman Raghuvanshi he had penned the lyrics exactly like how you know a dream of a young girl from village goes to space so we are really waiting that these songs will be played after about a week or 10 days. We can listen to that from space. Thank you so much for talking to Times Now. Well, we'll be standing by for this historic launch that will be taking place around 9.18 a.m. We'll be getting you those live updates.